All right, so I've been living in a house in Mercer Island for a little bit over a month now. And um, I had moved back from Phoenix a little over a month ago and uh, found the place here through Craigslist. And you may have recalled when I first moved in, I was very ecstatic about the place. And the reason for that was that back in October, it was very difficult to find any housing where they didn't check if you had taken this pharmaceutical product. People went crazy over that. I think they've relaxed a little bit. Um, but people, when, when they first started talking about requiring people to show proof of this pharmaceutical product, everybody started to jump on board with that, right? The other reason I was ecstatic about it was um, I don't react very well to people who use all sorts of fragrance products and chemicals. And when I walked into the home, the first thing I saw was that my landlord had all sorts of natural organic products and um, I kind of interviewed him about his habits of doing those things and um, in my mind it kind of checked out. The other thing that got me excited was that he was uh, a very accepting of me uh, being happily single, he was accepting of my career choices and all that and also the price was very good. When I looked at the rental price, I thought it was a little bit out of line for the location and the situation. So I, I took it with a grain of salt that there might be something wrong. And, there, and when I checked it out, in terms of the ins and outs of um, how the landlord handles uh, chemical usage, in terms of his uh, ideology, because we're going to be sharing uh, the kitchen and all that, and it kind of checked out. I, I signed on board and I didn't think much of it because normally you see something too good to be true. You think about quality defects, right? Well, it turns out it wasn't so much of a quality defect. It was a hidden cost that I didn't think about. So as it is, I have a hard time using the kitchen. Actually, today uh, my landlord had a little bit of a uh, personal emergency and he's away for two nights and I'm finally going to be able to enjoy using the kitchen a couple nights. Uh, I'll, I'll use this as an opportunity to load up and then I'll go on another intermittent fast when he comes back. The problem is that I, when I use the kitchen and he's in there, he comments so much. My choice of food, my um, because uh, he, he eats even more healthy than I do sometimes. So he'll comment about various things or he'll think that my choice of food, food is very bland and he wants to... Uh, the other day, as I was cooking, he was about to throw something in my dish, and I had to push his hand away. It turned out what he was going to throw in there would work for me, but uh, I didn't know, and um, so we got into a little scuffle over that. And um, so it turns out, I, after I talked to him somewhat about this, I learned that he and his I, he and his wife live in separate cities. Uh, they they have different career paths. His children have grown up. And this is what I'm saying is about is just my opinion, but I think he posted the room for share not only for rental income but to socialize, and that's not exactly what I was looking for. Certainly, not not the kind of demographic I was looking for, and so um, I, I suspect he's also bisexual as well. But again, that's my opinion, and um, it just reminds me of how we dealt with the stimulus ideas of this past year, right? A lot of people were upset that we're dealing with this um, transitory permanent inflation, but they forget that we have to pay for our stimulus one way or another. It seemed like a good idea at the time, right? Lots of free crap from the government, but you pay for it one way or another, right? And it turns out we're paying for it with transitor transitory inflation, right? Or at least some people am, right? I'm, I'm shielding myself from that. And I hope you would too, right? Anyway, so I learned a valuable lesson that you, you pay for something one way or you pay for it another way, right? You can pay rent or you can save a little bit on rent but pay for it with your social, uh, with, your, with, your, with your privacy, right? Now, it's not the end of the world, though. It turns out my landlord, he wants to do renovations and he realizes that I probably don't want to live here during the renovations. And so he was asking me when... Uh, you could do them. And I'm thinking it's probably easier for me to look for an, for more housing now that I have somewhere to settle down. Right? If I move back into my car, that could then I might be too eager to move into the next place and suffer another problem, right? So given that he had agreed to six months and now he want, he, he says I can let him know anytime he can do renovations, I think I'll take my time to look for housing while I still have somewhere to sleep, right? So that's that's good too, right? 
Anyways, you pay for it one way or you can pay it the other way, right? Up to you.